Hi everyone, just coming on quickly to show you a project that I have sorted for Amanda, Gramping Mummy. It's part of a swap on Crafty Swappers UK. Um, Amanda actually organised the swap and what it was, it, I signed up for it before the pain kicked in, my recent bout, and due to the pain, Amanda paired me up with her. Just in case I missed the deadline for it, which would have been highly probable. And she explained to him that we would work it between ourselves. It wasn't a problem. But um, I've had a reasonably, excuse me a minute, I've had a reasonably pain free weekend. Um, I'm having longer periods of pain relief, which is helping a bit. So I've get a lot of it done. Um, there is only one element that I'm definitely going to change. Um, there's another few bits that I may add. I'm just going to give it a day or two and see how I feel about it before I do it. Um, initially the plan was that I was going to hand stitch it. Me and my sewing machine don't get along. I just can't work them. Um, I'm really needing someone who is really good on a sewing machine to sit with me and actually do it. Um, my friend from Paisley is reasonably good on them, but I need to take mine through because hers is an up-to-date model. And although the, the setting up's the same and things, it's not the same and I need to get that checked. So she'll show me how to work mine which means it'll be easier. So until then I'm hand stitching. But my hand stitching, the threads I use are heavy duty and they're dark threads so that I can see them. So when you're working on a light project, it looks silly. So I had to kind of manage round about it. There's more hot glue in it than I would have liked. But it's still soft enough, and if I'm honest, I think that the hot glue actually gives it a bit of shape. Um, I think if I hadn't used the hot glue, it would have probably looked flimsy. But anyway, here we go. Um, this is it here. This is the front page. And I'll just come in close and what I'm going to need to do is adjust this camera because when it's closed, it doesn't like filming certain things. That's better. Okay. Behave camera. Right, so I've got a lace flower here that I've done. I've put a pink layer underneath. Then under this one here, it is a... Um, a bit of canvas that I've cut into strips and then shredded um, so that it's frayed and then I've stitched it. I think there's three sections around it um, but it's, it adds that extra bit on it and then the top layer is just a pink ribbon again, a uh, pink lace again and then a huge big bling in the middle. Up here, I've got a wired and beaded butterfly with a diamante at the top. These were shop bought, although looking at them now, I can make them myself. Um, and I've kept one downstairs so I can use it as a template. Um, some marabou feathers, I have got a white one at the back and then a smaller pink one at the front just to add a wee bit of extra flounce. Um, the cover is a pink chenille um, and then I've put a applique down here that was from Florence H. Now, the actual outside of the, the um, these straps keep wandering. <laughs> Um, the actual framework of it 
um, is double, it's double layered chenille. Then I have a seam binding over the sides, hot glued down, and then I have put a lace over the top, and I'll try and show you the lace there. So that was like the middle of my lace, and I just put like either side over it, so that it added that wee extra bit, and you'll see it there. So move that forward. You see the pink bit at the bottom? That's that white lace at the top. That's the bottom of it. And then I added this thicker pink lace again, which is the same one as what's round about the flower here. Um, and that's added all the way around. So that's page one. Then we've we'll got in here the same chenille. I'll take these out now. This pocket here is it's a vintage lace that I got from Fiona. Um, it was ages ago and I've never used it because it was just too nice to use on anything else. But I think on this it matches perfectly. And I wanted something special to put in Amanda's. So I've done that. Then I've put a small pink ribbon along. And then some bling trim. And then just where I've tied the ribbon and how you know it. I have put the small shabby shake flower and as I said this is actually doubled over because it was a long lace but I didn't want a big deep pocket so that actually gives it with that scallop there it gives it an extra bit of flounce. Um, then what I've done is Amanda loves this vintage so I got these in that wee book that I got from the works a few weeks back. So I popped two of them in there and she can either leave them in there or use them on projects, whatever she wants to do with them. And then I've made this wee tag that I will just put Amanda's name on. Um, and on the back I'll put my wee stamp. Um, and it's just loads of wee threads and tissues and just to add a wee extra bit on it. And as I said, I've just embellished the front the same colours as what I've done on the rest of the project. Then we've got this page here. Now the inside pages are done with white canvas. They are just single layer. Um, and what I've done is, round about, I have binded them with seam binding just to stop it fraying. And then I've just added this thin lace just to give it some interest because the seam binding isn't the interest I'm looking at all. Then we've added some of these cell um, appliques and in the centre I have added the big plastic bling, just three wee bites, just enough to make it look like the centre of the flower. Then I've added one of these big butterflies that Geraldine gifted me um, and they're absolutely stunning. I didn't want to add extra stuff to this page because I wanted the butterfly to speak for itself. The stick pin um, is really, really simple. It's one of the mesh butterflies stuck on to the, the metal at the top of the pin and then just three wee diamantes to hide where it's glued on. Underneath that I've got an oval bead but I've put it at an angle so that it looks thin like the body of a butterfly but obviously the thicker part's on the side. And then I've just added a wee rondo and a pearl bead at the bottom that matches the top of the stick pin and what I've done is I've weaved it through the body of the butterfly so I'm not pulling it out but it is double sided 
because I know Amanda likes her things all finished. So that is done on both sides. So she can pull it out and use it on her um, dress form. Um, then it just for the space, I've added some wee pink floral appliques. They're different sizes and some different materials. Some of them are paralysed and some of them aren't. Um, and again, it was just to fill the white space but not take away from the butterfly. Then in here, uh, I'm just trying to watch because these are obviously stuck. Oh, there. there we go. Right. Now, what we've got here is, I'll try and cover myself, keep myself decent. Bloody night, it's test. Right, it's a rose in the centre where the applique is. Down below, I have, it's a double page, that side even. So I've got it right across and it's all matching. It's a shabby chic ribbon under that and you can see it quite plainly when you're up close because that pink is so fine you can see through it no problem. And it's just to add a wee bit of length and to try and hide deep in a wee bit. I've added the fringed lace, the tassel type. Um, which I can't remember where I got it, I think it was Fiona, but it was a long time ago. Um, stick pins. They're all the same, I've made six of them. And it is the cream head, small bead cap, then it's a, an oval acrylic that's got like a diamond cut on it. Then we've got a wee rondo, and then another cream pearl. And then just a wee bead cap underneath that you'll not even be able to see, I don't think. That's annoying me. There we go. The best you're going to get it, I think. But that's there. And what I've done is just stick it in to the satin ribbon and it's just to stop it going through because the canvas is only one sided. Um, I haven't double layered it. So putting it into the the satin ribbon is going to protect the canvas a wee bit. Hopefully. There we go. Um, and as I say, the applique you'll see there, there's sequences and beads on it, um, and it just looks fab. This wee page I added just as an extra, oops, where am I that side? And it's a floral. Now, this is one of the doilies that lots of us use. The, um, the cream usually, and we've been using them for flower centers and things. But the cream is just going to merge. So what I done was I used one of my watercolour paints, painted over it, but I left it very, very broken because I wanted the variant of the colour. So there is some parts here darker, there's some parts lighter, and it's perfect. And the theme matches colours. Then I've got one of the appliques that Geraldine Little Snippets made. And then it's one of these wee flowers here. Was actually off an applique from Florence H, and what I done was just cut around it and stuck it on, and then I put one of the wee beads from the diamante trim into the centre just to finish it. The leaf um, here 
that was actually another um, applique from Florence Beach. I trimmed around it, and what I done was I coloured it with alcohol ink markers, um, letter set ones, pro markers. I used leaf green and meadow green for the background of the, the leaf and then I scored over the top of it with um, olive green just to give the darker image of what the, the, the what do you call it, the veins in the flower, um, the threads obviously, but it looks fab and I've added just a tiny wee bit of stardust um, stickles onto it and up in the top corner there we have a wee um, crocheted butterfly that I got off one of my kits from Fiona and around this it's again a single layer of canvas to stop it from fraying what I done was cut a double layer of the diamante trim and I folded it over the top so it's actually just the diamante trim that's stopping it from fraying but it works absolutely perfectly inside it's quite plain. I felt rickrack ribbon across the middle just to put these wee pins in. I have got a few of these wee butterflies that I got um, in a ribbon trim a few weeks back. Um, I gifted some to the ladies that I sent parcels to last week. Um, so I've put a few of them on and then I have got a bigger um, butterfly that once again was from Geraldine and the wings I have added a wee bit of stardust glitter just to make them stand out. Um, the pins that are in here are four centimetres. They are just small dressmaking pins. Um, they can be used for stick pins if you want or just for dressmaking or just leave them in there for display. It's totally up to you. Then in this side I've just put another applique and again it can be used for thick pins, whatever you want. This side it's the applique in the background and again the same stick pins as was on the other side. It was just a set of six I made. This page I couldn't decide what to do. Um, I did consider leaving it blank and letting Amanda decorate it herself. Then I decided, no, I'll have a go at this. And if you notice, Max, that's enough. Playing with a ball at my blooming feet and making a racket. The trim at the top has a wee hole at the top. So what I've done was I threaded the coat hangers through it. Um, yep. Threaded the coat hangers through them. And what I've done is put a tiny wee dollop of hot glue at the back just to hold the, the hanger in. But if you don't want the hangers on there, it's easy enough to remove and you can do what you like with it. Um, I just wanted something a wee bit different. And I've just added a few wee layers of ribbons that you can either use or whatever. Um, it was just something a wee bit different. To do, um, and then on this side, another wedding applique that we got from Florence H. I have a little bit of space down here that I am thinking about. I am possibly going to put some wording here. Um, not sure what yet, um, but there's enough space to put a wee sentiment. Which is why I left that space. I was considering putting another wee extension on of flowers and I decided against it. Stick pin. That way, Karen. Um, it's all pinks. And, wait, I'm hopeless for this. And the wee tag that's on it that you won't see, I don't think. No. It says kindness because that's what her Amanda's all about. She's the kindest soul you could imagine. And the back page I have left totally blank. And that can be up to Amanda what she wants to do with it. She can leave it blank or she can decorate it as she sees that. Now to bind it all together I used 
ribbon lace through a stitch tip through both layers. Um, you'll see it here. Um, I pierced it through both layers. Then the small booklet here, I have actually stitched in with silver thread and just stitched it round. You'll see it up at the top there, maybe. The steady stitches, one there, one there, and one down the bottom here, just to hold it in. And that's what's holding it together. But to hide the ribbon on the outside, which wouldn't have been very sightly, wouldn't have been bad, but just to hide it slightly, I have tied some cordon ribbons, some, um, what do you call it? Oh my goodness, what's the name of it? Can't think, it's gone. Some lace, some satin ribbon, some more lace, some seam binding, um, some pink lace. So there is a variety, and the name of that lace, that ribbon is winding me up. Arr, give me a second. I bet you are shouting at the bloody telly as well. Telly. Computer screen. Um, what is it, Jaden? I did my homework. Well done, on you go out to play. Yay! Thank you! Yeah. I knew I would get the name of it eventually. I had to go on a search for it, but... No fighting, Jaden! Um, so there's Adganza, Satin, Lee, Seam Binding, and it's all different types of lace, it's not just one. There's um, a good variety there. This is the only thing I'm going to change. Um, it's too dark. It's stitched on, so it's not going to make a mess if I go and try and take it off. So I'm taking that off, um, and I will put something else there in place. Not sure what yet, but that's coming off. I hate it. Um, it was originally lilac, and I thought, oh, that would be a wee bit of um, pink on it. So I used the alcohol marker, and it just looks hideous. So it's coming off. But on the whole, I am very chuffed with it. I think for a first proper fabric book, um, it's a really good attempt, and I'm really quite proud of it. Um, and I think Amanda will really like it. It's very tactile. There's different fabrics, there's different feels, touches, and that's what it's all about. So, just let me share that with you, and I will speak to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.